Shout it loud, hallelujah. Shout it loud, hallelujah. Oh, why don't you stand up and go to three or four persons and say, Happy New Year in Jesus' name. Amen. If you are in this service today, and you are from the river line areas, and you would like to disgrace all marine bankers keeping your passions, can I hear you shouting the loudest hallelujah here today? <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Very soon we get into that. There are seven words of prophecy for any who will connect with this program or you are here. The first word of prophecy is this. I don't know who you are, but the Lord said, This year, wherever you go, He will single you out for blessing. <laughs> if you are that person, let me hear you shout it loud, Amen. <laughs> Number two, the Lord said, Every grip of darkness that has held many families in bondage shall be shattered to pieces. Number three, I don't know who this is for. The Lord said it will convert your worst period to your best period. <laughs> Number four, the Lord said that all those powers that have been pressing down your head in previous years, pressing it down from rising, the Lord will send thunder to scatter those hands pressing. <laughs> Number five, the Lord said, I should tell you that every serpent that has swallowed your virtues shall be forced to vomit them. <laughs> if that is for you, let your amen be louder. <laughs> Number six, yet I don't know who this is for too. The Lord said, This year, any power that digs a pit for you to fall in, they shall fall into their own pit. And finally, the Lord said, I should tell all of you who are connected to this program that whether you like it or not, whether your enemies like it or not, the fact that you are connected with this program this year, you will recover tenfold everything you have lost. <laughs> A seven fold amen for those who are claiming. Right there where you are, close your eyes, beloved, and sing this song loud and clear. Sing it with a voice expecting great things from the Lord here today. Now I must change hands in my life. No matter what that thing means. Sing it again loud and clear.
waves flow. See the glancing waves flow. Step into the Maseka tenda ya boshandia, ribo sepela kaya boshendera ba santa ya ba, na katende ribo sepola kaya boshente. Amen. I decree upon your life over there that every curse that has hijacked your family history be broken now. In the name of Jesus. Every curse of infirmity, every spirit of infirmity, every curse of stagnancy, every spirit of stagnancy, every curse of frustration, every spirit of frustration, every embargo of darkness, I command you to scatter now in the name of Jesus. silence. I can see the hand of God moving from person to person. Yes. Every arrow of darkness in the body, your time is up. The ones in the eyes, the ones in the head, the one in the chest, the one in the womb, the one in the two legs, arrows of darkness, arrows of the enemy, plantation of darkness, plantation of the enemy, Hear the word of the Lord. It is written, as soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. Strangers that submit themselves unto me, the strangers shall be afraid, and they shall flee out of their close places. You, the strangers in the close places, get out now in the name of Jesus. Silence. At the count of seven from here, all those who are in this garden, and there is a rope of witchcraft around your waist, they control you, they drag you here and there. When you are about to approach a breakthrough, they apply the rope and pull you back. I'm going to count seven from here. The power of God is going to follow for such people, and that yoke shall be broken forever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The rope must be broken. The rope must be broken. The rope must be broken. Lay your right hand upon your head now. Lay your right hand upon your head. Father, I pray that the Holy Ghost fire will arise and kill every satanic deposit in anybody's head here. Anyone watching us, in the name of Jesus. Yes, the deposits have been troubled. It's time for them to go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's right. You are going to shout this seven times. Say, My head. Receive deliverance by fire. In the name of Jesus. Shout it seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Seven. Silence now. Check that head now. Check your body too. You brought some infirmities here. You brought some weaknesses here. And they have been shifted back to the camp of the enemy. And you can do what you could not do before. Find a way to the altar very quickly. Don't let the devil put any problem back. Now that it's gone, it's gone for good. Check your head. Check your body. Check that swelling. Check your legs. Do what you could not do before. Run quickly to the altar here. If you cannot run, run. If you cannot walk, walk. If you cannot see, see. If you cannot hear, hear. In the name of Jesus. That's the power of God coming upon you. Aha. Lay, retain your hand upon your head. Say, power of God. Attack all covens. Assign against my head. In the name of Jesus. Power of God. Attack all covens. Assign against my head. In the name of Jesus. Say three hot times. That's one. That's two. That's three. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. Something has been taken out from a woman's body. It's as if they put a heavy load upon your body. But right now, all those loads have been taken off. Check your body now and find a way to this altar. For the next few minutes, I want you to wear your warrior cap. This is the first meeting of the year. And there are prayers I want you to pray. There are plenty of prayers. But we have a short time to pray them. We will be a tragedy to keep quiet. We will be a tragedy to be left out. Can you shout this loud and clear? I break every spell. Upon my life. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to break it. In Jesus name we pray. Any witch dispatched to my house. I cut you off. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree that one too. Cut them off. In Jesus name we pray. Say so every power. Speaking failure to my destiny. You are a liar. Duh. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree that one too. Masepola Kaya Boshendera Basanta. In Jesus name we pray. The powers. Chanting my name in darkness. Shut up. Da. Shut up. Da. In the name of Jesus. Powers chanting my name in darkness. Silence them. Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. My stolen portions. Can you shout this loud? What are you doing in the valley of witchcraft? 
Can I hear you shouting that? Come up! In the name of Jesus. Yes. Jesus name we pray any sickness that wants to overtake my life can I hear the sister say shouting this sisters your voice is not loud you know brothers shout it louder than that Everybody together now. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Something is going on over there. Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Stretch your right hand towards this altar. Father, you have promised us that these signs shall follow them that believe. They shall lay their hands on the sick and the sick shall recover. Let the power of recovery, the power of resurrection, the power of breakthroughs enter into these hands in the name of Jesus. Let this hand become the hands of fire and power. In the name of Jesus. Now, if you have any infirmity in any part of your body, smite the place aggressively. Don't feel sorry for the place. And you shout on it back to your sender. Back to your sender. Let's go! Do it well, do it well, do it well. Check your body now. That place is smooth. Check your body now. Begin to do what you cannot do. If you cannot walk, walk. If you cannot run, run. If you cannot see, see. If you have any swelling in your body, check it up. And run quickly to this altar. Don't let the devil put the problem back. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say, I step into my wealthy place by fire. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree that want you. Amen. Calendar of darkness. If you don't want to repeat of any evil history, this is the prayer to shout seriously. Calendar of darkness. Fashioned against my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. the calendar of darkness (laughs) 
Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I'm going to pray for some specific cases now. If you have been healed, please come out and talk now. Don't be ashamed. Don't let the devil put it back. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to pray for some specific cases. Silence everywhere. Don't say amen until I ask you to say amen. Father, I pray for that your daughter over there. Some time ago, you were raped. The rapists were occultic people. Whatsoever they are planted into your body at that time. I command them to begin to depart now. Uh, don't, don't say anything. No. Just keep quiet until I ask you to talk. Every plantation of darkness that has entered into your body through sex be released from it now. In the name of Jesus. That's the power. Falling upon that person over there. Father, I pray that the power that I used to pin this person lifelessly to the bed as if your life is flying out I separate that power from your body now in the name of Jesus that is the power of God coming upon you The power of God is about to come upon somebody. This is the problem. Your grandmother cursed you. Your grandfather also cursed you. That person over there. The power of God is coming upon you. And the evil spiritual garment upon your body is catching fire now. Yes, that's the person over there. Right there where you are. The evil eggs that that prophet gave you to swallow vomit them 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 they have aroused your life for too long vomit them in the name of jesus now time for success prayers success prayers raise up your right hand to the heavens and say what i'm going to say after me Say every altar of affliction raised against my success scatter in the name of Jesus a loud amen in the name of Jesus say I break any power of non achievement of my father's house in the name of Jesus say this year shall be one of my best years on earth in the name of Jesus because as from now I shall not labor in vain as from now men and women shall show me favor in the name of Jesus, a sevenfold amen. Say so thank you, Jesus. Say so thank you, Jesus. Father, we cover the signs and wonders with the blood of Jesus. And affliction will never rise again. In the name of Jesus. Let's remain standing as you take a song of praises in your mouth. And sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. Pick any song of praises. And sing it loud and clear. Great is the God. How great is this name? How great is this name? 
Amen. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. Hear the word of the Lord. Can you shout that loud? Make your voice louder than that. Favor me by fire. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, open our understanding. Lay your hands upon us. Anoint our mouth. Give us a mouth and a wisdom that the enemy cannot contest against. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a seat for a few minutes. God bless you. The mystery of marine prisons. The mystery of marine prisons. And you will do well to listen to this very carefully. Because the prayer for this is for this palm of strangers and also for the next palm of strangers. The mystery of marine prisons. This message will bring so many people to their wealthy place. And this prayer will catapult people from where the enemy has put them to where God wants them to be. In the book of Revelation chapter 17, we read a mysterious verse. Revelation chapter 17, verse 1. A mysterious verse. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vows, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great 
all that seated upon many waters. I will show unto you the judgment of the great hall. Great hall that seated upon many waters. In the same Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Revelation 12, 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down to you, having great wrath, because he knew that he hath but a short time. When the devil and his agents were thrown down from heaven, they pitched their headquarters in the sea. And now this, the, the passage in Revelation 17 talks about the power that sits upon many waters. There are three strongholds in our universe. There is the heavenlies. There is the earth. There is the sea. The heavenlies, the earth, the sea. Those are the three strongholds in our universe. Unto these three strongholds, a man virtue can be imprisoned. Unto these three strongholds, a man's life can be caged from the cradle to the grave. The Bible says, Woe unto the habitants of the earth and unto the sea. Why? Because the devil has been sent down to them. Three strongholds. There's a stronghold in the heavens, a stronghold on earth, a stronghold in the sea. This is why the Bible says, At the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven, of things on earth, of things underneath the earth. I'm praying for anyone here that any of these three strongholds is holding your blessings. They must release it by fire this morning in the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. Three strongholds. The heavenlies, the earth, the sea. But there is something common to all three strongholds. It is water. There is water in the heavenlies. There is water on earth. The sea is full of water. Water itself is a mystery. The mystery of water started as far back as in Genesis chapter 1. Which says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. Darkness was upon the face of the deep. The spirit of God moved upon the waters. It is difficult, if not impossible, to wage war against water. If you leave water and do nothing to it, it remains as a liquid. If your environment becomes too hot and you are eating it up, it becomes gas and runs away. If the place becomes too cold, it becomes ice that you cannot move. The water is a serious mystery. Beloved, hear me and hear me well. Whether you believe it or not does not really matter. There are powers in the water. And there are hidden benefits of people in the waters. There are warehouses in the waters. There are banks in the waters. There are prison houses in the waters. And when you are battling spiritual things, picking the fruit will not have lasting results. Cutting the branches will not have lasting results because the branches will grow back. You can saw off the tree at the trunk. With time, it will come back. You must discover where the roots are Pick them up, cut them up, then the tree will die. The truth is this. Many who live or work in riverine areas or coastal areas often struggle with hard financial bondages and hard afflictions. The powers from the waters have positioned themselves to hinder the breakthrough of many. The hard truth is this. It is sad, but it is true. It is lamentable, but it is happening. The truth is that the enemy has opened many marine bank accounts. Where is banking people's resources? 
there are powers and personalities in the waters only the virtues and the resources and blessings of so many people what a tragedy it is to be here on earth struggling to make stubborn hands meet now realizing you have resources hidden in the water so many people beloved the houses they ought to build the certificates they ought to have the vehicles the children the job even as we are talking now may be inside a marine cage in prison this is a very serious matter i prayed with a sister many years back she kept failing the school certificate exam she kept failing she kept failing she kept failing so the mother consulted the waters and the waters asked her to bring sacrifices what rice what beans what oil what live chicken threw all of them into this water somewhere around benin and threw it into the water and that particular year she passed but they gave her an instruction that once your girl has passed make sure every year you come and offer the sacrifice so the girl having passed the mother did it for one or two years and stopped completely stopped she had probably for forgotten but what she did not realize is that the memory bank of the waters do not forget they waited for this girl to pass out of school pass out of the university and get married at the marriage level the problem started serious trouble serious extreme trouble so troublesome that sometimes she sees a period four times in a month until she ran to her mother again and they told her it's because she did not offer sacrifice to the waters that because she did not offer the sacrifice that the marine kingdom had banged a womb i'm praying for anyone here whose organ of the body has been banged right now inside the water whether your parents took you there you took yourself there your friends drag you there right there where you are listen to my voice I decree your freedom in the name of Jesus. Be set free. 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 In the name of Jesus. It is even possible that even yourself, you, 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 like Jonah, you may be in the belly of a fish now. But you don't know. The purpose of these two months of meetings is to command these water dragons to release you so that you can locate your correct life. There is somebody listening to me now. As you were saying, Amen, there, your wife that was locked up in the water by your grandmother has been released to you now. <laughs> So from left, right, center, forward, both expected and unexpected income will come rushing back to you within the next 48 hours. There are seven groups of people who should pray very hard this morning. One, those from riverine areas. Two, those whose parents worship water. That is, your mother was a marine princess. And always going about wearing white clothes, white clothes, white clothes. Three, those specifically dedicated to the waters. You may not know. Some people, when they deliver their children, the naming ceremony is carried out by the waters. They put water into the mouth of the baby. Of course, if that was what happened to you, the control of your destiny is inside the waters. Four, those who keep dreaming of water, dreaming of water. Either they are swimming in it or not swimming in it. Dream of waters. Dream of waters. They are being controlled from those waters. Five. Those who are always afraid of bodies of water. When they travel on the bridge, they can't look down. They're scared. There is something connecting to that river. Six. Those who feel drawn to water. Feel drawn to water. Such people should pray really hard here today. Seven, those who suffer from stubborn spiritual attacks, 
And sometimes because of this, they are putting seizures on your body. You need to pray. Seriously, this program. The waters, they have an evil controller that sits on destinies and breakthroughs. The Bible makes us understand that there is a power, the great hall that sits upon many waters. Meaning that that power is the controller of water possessors. One of the major agenda of the power that sits upon many waters is immorality in all its ramifications and character disorder in all its ramifications. In riverine sections, cities close to riverine areas, there is always a high rate of sexual immorality, a high rate of alcoholism and drunkenness, a high rate of non-focused men, a high rate of laziness, a high rate of polygamy. The purpose of that immorality is to defile, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. This is a very serious matter. Water areas. When somebody is under attack by this power that sits upon many waters, the way you can know that you need the deliverance today, the lust of the eyes. When your eye cannot stay in one place, jumping from men to men, jumping from woman to woman, your eyes are filled with lust. The marine are already they've caged you. Dog bite in the dream. Every dog bite in the dream is sexual attack. The dog spirit is the spirit of sexual perversion. Snake bite in the dream is also part of it. Seduction. There is something about you. And men are always running after you. There is something about you. Women are always running after you. You carry a seductive power. That anointing is from the water. The anointing is from the water. So what evil men evil men, terrible men, all of them running after you. You may be enjoying it, but it's a terrible disease. Enjoyment of naked pictures. An attack from the waters. Seeing nakedness of opposite sex in your dreams. It's attack from the waters. It doesn't matter whether you're a pastor. You don't forget about that. We're not talking about that now. As far as these marine prisons are concerned, pastors mean nothing to them. It doesn't bother them. It doesn't mean anything. Seeing nakedness of opposite sex physically, you like seeing it, is part of the attack. Dreaming of city filled with opposite sex is part of the attack from the waters. You will not read your Bible, but you enjoy reading romantic and sexual books. You have been attacked from the waters. Watching sex movies and films and watching pornography shows that you are under attack from the waters. The truth is this. Anyone who is hooked to pornography, there is very little you can achieve in your destiny in life unless you break through from that bondage and some are completely addicted to it they bought films and films and films and films and films and that's what they watch they want to stop they cannot stop once there is something happening in the life of a man and you don't want it but you want to stop and you cannot stop that has gone to the area of the demonic all the sex in the dream is an attack from the waters, sexual thoughts, immoral dresses. You want to dress to expose your breast, you want to dress to expose your body, is marine anointing. All forms of adultery, demonic cosmetics and bleaching, lesbianism and homosexualism, marriages in the dream. All these things are attacks from the marine kingdom. All the oral sex. Anal sex, sleeping with beasts, prostitution, sexual confusion, all of them show that we have been attacked from the waters. We have a business to set ourselves free from all these cages and camps. If we enter into Lagos, I don't know what I see there. Say, Welcome to the city of aquatic splendor. And that is part of the problem of Lagos too. The power from the waters. Tormenting, harassing, stealing, and doing all kinds of things. They brought one girl to the headquarters in 1994. Her mother took her to a prophet by the Babich. 
to pray for her to get married. The prophets asked her to arrive at the Bible at 12 midnight. A prophet, a man, is asking a lady, single, to come for prayer at 12 midnight. Of course, you know it's not scriptural. Something is wrong somewhere. Anyway, she went. When she got there, they asked her to undress. She undressed. The man took out sponge, soap, and began to bathe a fully bodied lady. There. The lady said, all of a sudden, as the bath, as bathing went on, there was a rumble in the sea. And a giant creature came out. The lady is probably in this service now. Came out and walked towards them and grabbed the leg of the lady and was dragging her back to the sea on the floor. The prophet screamed. Say, hey, hey, hey. The girl said to her amazement, the man who has been reading Psalm and was jingling bell abandoned those things. And straight away he started incantation. Serious incantation for the power to let her go. And he was promising the power that he won't try it again. That he won't bring beautiful Galia to bathe them again. Don't take her to the water to marry her. And after serious incantation, not prayer, not Bible, he released her leg. And quickly, they ran away from the Bible. It was when the problem now started. Somebody recommended the mantle of fire to this girl. The leg that strong man held was now becoming a limping leg. Before, the men were even showing some concern. After that time, it was as if she was invisible. Beloved, there are powers inside the waters. Our forefathers knew it. Many of these occult people know it. And that's why they go to worship the waters. There may be a sister here too now. 3 a.m., she found out her husband was not by her side. And she didn't know where the man was going. So she decided one day to pretend as if she was sleeping. And the man stood up again. And the woman allowed him to go out. The man locked her in. This woman used extra key to let herself out. And was following the man carefully into the night. The man now went to the lagoon in the night. And began to sing a strange song. And a beautiful woman came out of the water carrying a baby to come and greet the man. The wife was watching. There was a wife married to this man. And the man was not interested in touching her for sex at all. No child. She did not know that she had married somebody who had a wife in the water. As she watched, the woman from the water said, Darling, somebody is watching us. Your wife is here. I said, No, she's sleeping. She said, she's not sleeping. She's hiding over there. The woman ran. But they've seen her. The man never came back home. We don't know what has happened. The woman could not talk to anybody. This man vanished. Probably now in the water. Anyone who wants to fight this kind of power, the first is that you must be a thorough child of God. You have to surrender your life to Jesus. Without that, you're just wasting time. Number two, you need to repent from every known sin. Three, you need to wage war. Wage war against the dragon in the waters. The dragon in the waters. That says, this place is my own. You need to wage war against them. That's what we want to do in the next two Palmas changes. But if you are here this morning, you are not born again. You have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Or you are even hooked on sexual bondages. Don't deceive yourself and say, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian. Which Christian? Which Christian is committing fornication? Christian that is sleeping outside marriage. Don't call yourself a Christian. You need to go and call, call, surrender your life to Jesus. So that you can start a new life in this 2014. So wherever you are, by all eyes are closed. You rise up from that seat and run, come to this altar. Or any of the two altars at the back. Say, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. I want to recover my wife from the waters. Find a way to this altar. Or any of the two altars at the back. Jesus is waiting for you here. Jesus is waiting for you here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The gift of love, the crucified. 
of you at the altars I congratulate you taking the most important decision in life just say what I'm going to say after me say father in the name of Jesus I come before you today I know that I'm a sinner Lord Jesus come into my life take control of my life as from today I say bye bye to the devil I enter into the kingdom of life in Jesus name Amen if you said I should pray with me, I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here. And I thank you for laying it upon them to surrender their lives to Jesus. Father, uphold them by your power. Write their names in the book of life. As they have surrendered their lives to Jesus today, keep them standing by your power. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Right there where you are, the counselors will talk with you. Listen to their instructions. The rest of us, let's bow down our head. Begin to ask the Lord to forgive you. For any, any way you played into the hands of this spirit. Any sickness that has been brought to your life by your playing around with marine powers. Ask the Lord to forgive you. And uphold you. Let's rise up on our faith, please. Three prayers to pray. Serious prayers. Prayers from the waters is not prayer. You pray like a gentle man or woman. If you pray this prayer and lose your voice, but you withdraw your benefit, you have made a good bargain. But it will be a tragedy to keep quiet while the marine bankers continue their evil agenda on your life. Three prayers. And we have just few minutes to pray them. Please don't let anybody's voice overshadow your voice. This is the kind of prayer that rescues destinies instantly. Can I hear the sister say, say this after me? Warehouse in the waters. Can the sisters shout it louder? Sisters, I'm sure you can do a lot, lot better than that. Release my virtues. Can I hear the brothers shouting the same thing? 
That's right. Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to decree it. Jesus name we pray. Say marine witchcraft of my father's ass. Your time is up. Day. In the name of Jesus. Ripolia Katona Katandayaba. In Jesus' name we pray. I'm going to count seven from here. Anyone being controlled by powers from the waters, either mommy water, marine spirit, water spirit, they will be released instantly. The angels of warfare are scattered all over this place. To cut every covenant that you have with them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can't hide. You've been hiding for years. Release our children. Release our husband. Release our wealth. Release, release it. In the name of Jesus, you marine husband, lose your hold too. In the name of Jesus. Say this with boiling anger. Say, I release my wealth from the grip of marine bankers by the power in the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree. Release them, release them. In Jesus' name we pray. Say so what I'm going to say after me. Say, so in faith, I hand over my battle to God. In faith, I come against every evil stronghold of any marine kingdom. In faith, I pollute your water with the blood of Jesus Christ. In faith, I overturn every marine agenda against me. In faith, I topple upon marine serpents and scorpions. In faith, I spoil marine palaces and set our captives free. There shall be no reinforcement or evil reunion of this power against me. I seal my confession with the blood of Jesus. And I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. Amen. A sevenfold amen. If January is your birthday, please remain standing. Father, we thank you for this, your children. You are celebrating the birthday in January. Let it be well with them in the name of Jesus. Bless them to a dumbfounding degree. 
As I celebrate your birthday this month, by this time next year, if Jesus tarries in his coming, you'll be a greater bundle of testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Bring out your prayer letter for this program now. Those things you want the Lord to do for this year. Hold it to your hand and rise up on your feet. And let the amen be dynamic as I pray now. Stretch the letter towards his altar. As you let your amen be loud and clear. Father, in the name of Jesus. All these letters that of children have written. You know the innermost desire of their hearts. Answer the letter by fire in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will arise and fight for you in the name of Jesus. And every point you have written in that paper shall become mighty testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Everybody please stand on your feet now. Because of the massive things the Lord has done here today, pick again any song of praises in your mouth. Sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. said that some people have come for this gathering and he has a word across to them. I don't know who you are, but he said I should tell you that he the Lord of hosts will over answer your prayers. <laughs> Two. Now, what nobody in your family line has achieved, this year you will achieve them. And three, anyone conspiring against you this year, they shall have themselves to blame. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you for your children. I bless you in the name of the Lord. You are going in your coming, I shall be blessed. As a result of this program that I've attended, I've attended today, your story shall change. As a result of this program, those who saw you last year, when they see you now, they will see the glory of God upon your life in the name of Jesus. The God of Elijah shall arise and advertise his power in your life. Advertise his power in your life. In the name of Jesus. And by this time next month, you shall be a bigger bundle of testimonies. It's written that you to the hills will raise up your head. From that comes your head. Help comes from the Lord who made heaven stand out. Not suffer your feet to be moved. For if they keep at you, you not slumber. They keep at Israel, you not slumber, not stay. The Lord shall keep you going and you're coming out. The Lord shall keep you in all your ways. No evil shall be for you. And that shall any plague move now your heart. It is well with you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship.